Everything blended out so beautifully. That one is supposed to be pretty dark and then it comes on like this. Like it kind of looks not the best. I have chocolate all over my face. Hey girl, welcome to Emory Lane, where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And in today's video, we're gonna be finding out what the best drugstore eyeshadow primer is. I've had four eyeshadow primers to battle. For the first half, we're gonna be battling the Morphe Eyelid Primer. And the one that actually, I'm pretty sure this one has the most reviews, is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eyeshadow Primer, which surprised me. Considering out of all of the Ulta makeup that I've tried, like Ulta Beauty makeup that I've tried, I haven't really liked like hardly any of it. So we'll see what happens with this. I have two more, but they're not here yet, so we're doing these two first. And we're basically doing a March Madness bracket situation. Everything will all be in the same video. But today we'll battle these two, tomorrow I'll battle the next two, and then if there's like, it's too close to tell, I will battle the best two to like find the overall winner. I'm gonna be using the same eyeshadow palette to keep things, you know, even. I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Roxy palette. This palette's like pretty okay. It's not like a horrible palette. Some of the shades can be kind of a little bit like not the most pigmented, and it definitely doesn't last all day on its own. It's a good candidate for this kind of test. Just to give you an idea of what these shades look like without any primer or anything like that. There's one. That one is supposed to be pretty dark and then it comes on like this. It's like an orangey brown. That one's not as bad. There's a shimmer. That like barely shows up. Wow, it's been a minute since I've used this one. I forgot. It's kind of weak without primer. Those are a couple of shades I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use that shade right there in my crease. Obviously, we're looking for longevity. I'm also looking for something that might help with pigmentation, creasing, smudging, fading, that kind of thing. We'll do the Morphe on the right and the Ulta on the left. I don't know how I want to do my makeup yet because I will have to wear it for up to three days in a row, so no pressure. Should we do like a fall look? Moving on to the Morphe. It says where bold babe goes, killer eyeshadow flows. My goodness. All the cheese. It's a long wear waterproof. Ooh. Eyelid primer that goes on silky smooth, dries down sheer, and won't let you down for 12 hours. Which creases take a height and your color stays so you can slay Oh my heavens. Meet your partner in prime. Morphe. You're hilarious. Sucky smooth application dries down sheer. Okay. See, this one says only 79% of people would recommend it to a friend. And so I was slightly worried, but like, you'd be surprised how many like drugstore eyeshadow primers have like really bad reviews. So like, I'm just working with what I got. Definitely help with pigmentation. Mm hmm Yeah. Also, everything blended out so beautifully. Like that was the easiest blending out situation ever. Yeah. You know how sometimes when you use like a really intense strength eyeshadow primer it can be kind of like draggy just a little bit and you're like oh it's fine no it felt like i wasn't using a primer so good <laughs> So just a couple little details about it. It says your eyeshadow will thank you later because of this matte eyeshadow primer. It's crease proof. That'll keep your eye makeup on all day. Can be used with multiple eye product formulas. Interesting. Powders, gels, creams, and loose pigments. Translucent, so it doesn't affect the color of your eyeshadow. Also, if you scroll down a little bit, it has four and a half stars and 92% of people that reviewed it would recommend it to a friend, which that's pretty high. You see that? Okay, that's taking a lot longer to build pigment. I know it's, a, it's about the same amount of pigmentation now, but that took a minute. It goes for $12, so not the cheapest, not the most expensive. It's like an ultra price. It says it's translucent. It looks like tan. Yeah, that's not as pigmented. Do you see this? No, like no way. That's more pigmented for sure. What the heck? I wasn't expecting this. Wow, Morphe came out and was like, you're only giving me four stars? I deserve more than that. I deserve more than this. What? Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup real fast. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's currently exactly noon. You can't tell nearly as much the difference in pigmentation on camera. I'm hoping like once I get in and edit this video, you'll be able to tell a little bit better. There's a pretty big difference. Not like, it doesn't feel like I'm not using eyeshadow primer on the side with the Ulta, but the Morphe is like so much better. The question is though, how is the longevity? Cause that's like the most important thing with the primer, right? Is like how long it's gonna last and if it's like gonna like look disgusting by the end of the day. Cause it doesn't matter how good it'll look. When you first put it on, if like three or four hours later, it looks gross and creasing and fading and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go about my day. I'll do like a really fast check-in. I don't want this video to be forever. So I'm gonna try to like keep the pace up. So I will see you in a sec. It is 12.19. So we're like 20 minutes past our 12 hour mark. Sorry, I forgot to check in. That was my bad. I got way distracted. We got thrown a, it got thrown a curveball because Alta is like crease city. There's like a whole chunk. It's just my eyelid. You can just see my eyelid. And there's like a tiny, tiny bit of creasing on the Morphe side. And there's a little tiny bit of fading, but it looks 10 times better than the Alta one. I feel like all the shimmer eyeshadow on the Alta one is basically gone. And there's just so much, so much creasing. Is this absolutely perfect? No, but it's pretty dang good. Pretty, especially considering the like quality of the eyeshadow in the first place it's pretty good now is it gonna be better than one of the other two i don't know we're gonna find out next <laughs> 
what is in my way. And we're back. If you're not seeing this when it goes like live directly, this video is like four days late, I think. The morning of the second day I was gonna film, I woke up with a sty. So we had to let that heal. Now we're back. This round we're going to be doing the Milani, I think it's just called their eyeshadow primer, just Milani eyeshadow primer, and then the NYX Ultimate eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna do the Milani on my right and the NYX on my left because my right eye is what I got infected with. And just in case there's any like residual stuff, I don't wanna wipe this on my right. Eye. Am I kind of scared to use this palette because I'm worried that this is what gave me a sty? Yes, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Don't recommend doing this normally. Normally I would just throw it out and I'm gonna throw it out right after this video because it's like closer to being expired. Quick recap of everything. Starting with the NYX. It says turn up the intensity with the ultimate shadow and liner primer. It's infused with vitamin E. It's available in four skin adapting shades. It increases the vibrancy and extends the wear of shadow with soft blurring effects. Creates the perfect canvas for infinite eyeshadow looks. $10 on Amazon, and that's four stars. But this stuff, like when it comes to helping with vibrancy, it's insane. Moving on to the Milani. It is a lightweight, invisible primer that intensifies the color of your favorite eyeshadows, increases the wear from day to night by adding our lightweight, crease proof eyeshadow primer to your beauty arsenal. It goes for $7.97 on Amazon, and it has four and a half stars with 6,000 reviews. Okay, hold on. I'm changing my mind because I feel like, even though the Nick one like really made this color more pigmented than this one it's not by much and this one is harder to blend out like it kind of looks not the best compared to this one especially and this one it took like just a second longer to build up the pigment but I feel like it's so close to the same that I'm liking this better highlight just because this is just not blending out well I'm gonna help smooth things over there we go that's a little better here's what we're looking like officially it is currently 11:40. I'm gonna go about my day I don't know if I'm gonna do a check-in it depends on what happens like I said I don't like to keep these videos rolling for a long time so we'll just see what happens next I have chocolate all over my face and ice cream. <laughs> we had some serious creasing on this side. What side was this, the NYX? Yeah, holy cow. I don't remember the NYX creasing this bad. Maybe it's because I haven't used it with the shadow before. And then minor creasing on the Milani side. I feel like I have a pretty, pretty solid winner. Milani comes in second because it did do a good job in pigmentation and it's not quite as faded as like the Alta one, but Morphe Man, it did the best job in pigmentation while still being super smooth and easy to blend out. It held up the longest. I don't know why it only has four stars. If you prefer spending a little bit less money because I believe the Milani's a little bit less, it's it's still good. I think Morphe's the best. If you want to see a video comparing one of my favorite $9 long-lasting lipsticks versus a $22 lipstick, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percent of the profits if you use my link to buy the product, but it's not effective in any way. I love you so much, and don't forget that you are enough. Bye. Mwah.